I think that um, telemedicine sprang up very quickly during the pandemic out of necessity, uh, we had to. And while it's not the ideal way to take care of a patient, it is one way to take care of a patient. And I think that when the world comes back to normal, because it's hard to think of it now, but the pandemic will end, there's no doubt about that. Um, I think that telemedicine will still stay around to some extent. In, in my opinion, there's nothing better than actually sitting with a patient, making non-digital eye contact, et cetera. But um, for the convenience sake and for a, a quick check-in with the doctor, I think that telemedicine has been um, a really good thing that's come out of this. Uh, the second thing is the, the anti-CGRP monoclonal antibodies, these monthly shots, I think have increased uh, in their use as, and, and, and maybe that will continue. If I have someone who has limited access to their doctor, I want them on a preventive more often than not on a preventive. And if I'm going to pick a preventive, I want a very um, low maintenance preventive. And what we know about these CGRP monthly shots is they tend to be by and large well tolerated with high compliance um, and good safety and efficacy. So I think we're seeing a little shift more toward them perhaps away from some office-based stuff. Um, I think that, you know, migraine needs to increasingly be recognized as a legitimate chronic medical condition with flare-ups and that right now headache medicine is the most exciting part of neurology because of the discoveries since 2018, 19, and 20. And even in a pandemic when patients generally are even suffering more um, with migraines, we now have a good set of migraine specific tools to offer them uh, to make their lives um, more livable.